it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Vijay Kumar Singh. He is presently heading the business for aerial work platform at Gemini Power Hydraulics. He is an engineering and management professional with 30 years of experience in the sales and marketing of aerial work platforms, construction equipment, and material handling equipment. He has been associated with the aerial work platform business in India for the last 10 years and has been instrumental in the market development of aerial work platforms. He drives the vision of suggesting the optimal solution to customers for safety and convenience. Vijay will present a talk on access equipment for infrastructure projects. So let's welcome Vijay. Thank you, General. Thank you, Mayra, for calling me again. Uh, the topic what I have chosen that is access equipment in construction. Before that, if you, I was just going through the last year total imports of access equipments in the country. Uh, that, that stands at 1374 machine, 1374. And that includes machines starting from 2 lakhs rupees onwards. If you take the lower values machines out, the number will come down drastically. And all put over it is 216 crores at the import, at the import value. If you look at China, I mean, they are totally. Uh, Consumption of these machines is around 125,000 units per, sorry, 125,000, that is 1.25 lakhs per year. If you look at even the United States, it is almost a lakh, right? But for a country like this, a country of this dimension, I think this, this smaller value of uh, equipments purchased gives an indication that we have ample uh, opportunity to grow this business. So this is my main point. And why I have, why I have selected construction? Because in India, the, the amount, of, in, uh, amount of investment that is coming in infrastructure, that is huge, that is astronomical. So this is the time when uh, all Whoever is connected with this product, they should promote it for newer applications. There are unpicking number of applications and uses for this aerial work platforms, but in India we are using it only for a rough thin portion of the application. So what I have done, and it's not a presentation, it is basically an exhibit that has some photographs. So I just want to share that. I think this is a very common, you can look at the pictures. This is a very common site on the construction site. Somebody is, you know, they are carrying this concrete on our head. Somebody is pushing the levels. Right. And this is our second, what we call secondary construction or wet finish. This is how we do it. Right. So, if you look at this area, especially the building construction, commercial construction, there is a huge amount of opportunity available, available for such equipments. Some of the equipments I have selected and I have put the application photos so that the audience can, can connect with that. Like one of this equipment, what we call a clear level access equipment. Uh, and low level access equipment is basically from 6 feet to 20 feet. This is extensively used in MEP work, plumbing work, electricity, elect, uh, electric installations, HVAC for, for this air conditioning work, for the centralized air conditioning work. It is used for installation of fire systems because all commercial buildings, you know, they have a, they have a fire security system. Then the fire is a very common example now all not only commercial, even the residential buildings are also going for this false selling and other things. So if you look at this market, this is a huge market. Even if you can tap five percent of this market, it will really result in a huge numbers for us. 
then this is the second equipment. You can see this is again, you can work from up to 20 feet. And this is the only equipment that can work on, that can travel on unlevel, unlevel ground. Because if you look at any commercial building, the landscaping or landscaping or also the definition work is done after the building is ready. So you can see this machine, this machine has a crawler and it has a rubber crawler, a rubber crawler, non marking type, so it can work on unlevel roads. And plenty of them is working in other countries. So why not in India? Another machine is basically crawler mounted bonnet. This is the, the spatterlands that you can see that is of Doha, Doha for the for that uh, FIFA. I mean, the picture what you show, what you are seeing is basically from Doha, Doha Stadium, where they, they have used this machine extensively in uh, construction of those stadiums. We also have modern stadium. And not only that, I remember when I was in Delhi, before that junior FIFA, they were really struggling to maintain that uh, Jawaharlal Stadium because there was not any machine of that dimension in India. So, this is another area. This machine is extensively used worldwide in, in industrial construction, in railways, in landscaping, in restoring, uh, restoration of monuments. Extensively used in Italy because there have been many monuments, and so are we. These are the, some of the application photographs you can see used in the construction of the building, right with the construction of airport. And on the left, you can see this is used for restoration of a monument. We can never imagine that this, this machines can be used, these other work platforms can be used even for mining. You can see the machine is on the mining bed. And if you really look at the amount of mining that is happening in India, we may be in the first three and most of the minerals. Then the last point is the truck mounted boom lift, of course. Electrical maintenance is one of the common area everybody uses, but this is used for toll Now, these all are beauty projects. Everybody has toll gates. It is used for constructing or constructing erecting those toll gates. It is used for construction in some part. Now, there are so many routes coming in long term, 10, 10, 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers. This is used for finishing of the tunnels. Right, like that, uh, uh, jumping to show another area. And uh, what are the benefits? Of course, safety is one of the one of the point I think everybody has emphasized on it. But the most important, if you look at the economics, it is the faster completion of the project. Because mostly the point comes, what is the ROI on this? What is the return on investment? There could be some tangible returns. There could be some intangible returns. Suppose if a 500 crore building, if it gets ready two months in advance or three months in advance. Mm -hmm. So the as I was telling that you know, mostly people talk about what is the return on investment on these machines. Uh, if you look at a 500 crore commercial building, if it is getting ready three months in advance. So what if the economics works out? So I also talked about the number of accidents. And in construction sector itself, that contributes to the majority of accident worldwide. And the most important reason for fall from the height. And secondly, ergonomically also, it is convenient for the people to work on that. So uh, my take on this or my suggestion is that as a as a as a OEM, as a supplier of all the stakeholders should look for the newer application instead of you know, plugging in the new known areas. So this is what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nidhari, for sharing your views on active equipment for infrastructure building. P2P purchase is available on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also download our app from the Google Play or the App Store. We also request that viewers stay tuned for future interactions. With that, today's interaction has now concluded. Thank you and goodbye.